Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, we cover a lot about personal finance and investments. But in special occasions such as this, we cover a little bit about lifestyle and most especially wine. Yes, after a really really long time, we are finally back with another wine video. I know it's been too long and if this is your first time to watch one of my wine videos, please note that I am not a sommelier, I am not certified on any level whatsoever, but I do enjoy my wine. In today's video, what we'll cover are wine suggestions that you can give as gifts, especially this holiday season. A lot of my old videos focused on price, and for today's video, we're not specifically doing that. They are still going to be good value wines that I have here. And the inspiration for this video is really more about what I would actually like to get as a gift from my friends and family. Hello friends and family! These wines are a little unique and I think would be appreciated by anyone who is a little bit into wine. Today I'm not sharing only 3 wines, but I'm presenting 3 different wine regions where you can pick from in giving your loved ones a special wine this Christmas. What are these? Stick around and let's find out. Let's go! So while it's probably easy to just buy an expensive bottle or maybe the cheapest bottle just to be able to say, here you go, have fun, have a good wine. I am selecting here key regions that I think would really be appreciated by your loved ones. So the first of these suggestions would be giving wine from the country of Portugal. So I have here two wines from Portugal, but the Portuguese have actually been making wine for thousands of years now. For some reason, their wines in terms of volume and popularity just haven't been at the same level as their peers because out of the many European countries that are making wine, Portugal is really catching up and making a name for themselves in this industry. So while it may be very common for us to know wines that are of French descent, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, the wines in Portugal are a little unique. This red is made of Aragones, Afrochera, Alcante Boucher. Definitely, I will not claim to be an expert in these wine varieties, these grapes that I have only heard of just now as well. But yes, Portugal has actually focused on varietals that have been indigenous to their land. So today, out of these three, we'll be tasting just two wines. And let's start off with the white wine. This is Pato Frio from Vidigueira, Portugal. I actually bought this from Landers. Buy one, take one for 799 pesos. So that is the white and the red, so you can mix and match. So I haven't done this for a while. Uh, I forgot that during these tastings, I usually don't pour myself too much wine. In terms of color, it seems to be on the slightly mid-gold yellowish uh, color. It's not as light as a Sauvignon Blanc. Although in terms of smell, it seems as citrusy, as zesty as a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it's not quite like a Chardonnay as well, wherein that would be a lot heavier. So let's find out. Oh wait, I don't want to drink on an empty stomach, so... Mm. SNR. Mm. Ooh. That's actually quite good. So just like it smells, it's very zesty. It does have a little bit of weight to it. There's just a little bit of a body. I think this might go well with Asian food. Again, I'm thinking about sushi with this. Definitely check out Portugal as one of the key regions where you can get your wine as a special gift this Christmas season. So from Europe, I want us to hop on our plane, travel pretty much around the world. We are now in New Zealand and specifically Marlboro. I don't have a Marlboro wine here with us today, but I've featured Marlboro wines in my previous videos. So you can just check that out. So Marlboro is the wine region in New Zealand. Marlboro has been really just bursting into the scene in the last 20, 30 years. Their claim to fame is what I've kept mentioning all this time, Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc, I think, could be a wine gateway for non-wine drinkers. So refreshing guys, if you haven't tried Sauvignon Blanc from Marlboro, it just works. 
I mean, if you are really not drinking wine and you start with Sauvignon Blanc, I think you might find it interesting because it's a zesty, very juicy, and very zingy. It has a distinct taste, especially when it comes from Marlboro in New Zealand. 80% of the wine there is really Sauvignon Blanc. That's their bread and butter. But there are also other white wines there that are coming into their own. There are Rieslings, there are Chardonnays, there are Givers Terminer. You could also get a good bottle of Pinot Noir from Marlboro. From our three regions today, Marlboro probably might be the most expensive. Average entry level price of Marlboro wine would be around 600 pesos. You can get a good selection from Landers as well. Uh, regularly priced would be around 850 to 950 pesos. But they do go on sale once every while and it's at 50 off. So actually the most popular Marlboro wine would be Matua. Matua is actually cheaper in SNR, so if you have a membership there too, then uh, you could go check it out. And lastly, we'll be featuring this wine. So this wine is having us take that plane ride back to Italy. So we are not just staying in the mainland of Italy. We are going to Sicily. This specific region, this island of Sicily, is special because of its terrain. Again, what makes wine special from each of these regions is that each geographical terrain really have different climates, different soils. So that's really what makes a good wine, good wine. And for today, we'll be opening this bottle of Imori. This is a Nero Davola. So maybe Nero Davola is something that is new to your ears. It's not as popular as Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a medium to full-bodied red wine. And I got this bottle for around 650 pesos, also from Landers. Um, that was on sale. Uh, if you buy it regular price, I think it's a little over 900 pesos. Uh, but the good thing with Landers is that they also offer a good selection of Sicilian wine. They have Nero Davola starting at 299 pesos for a sale. So aside from Nero Davola, there is Grillo for whites and Mascalese and Nero Davola for the reds. So let's go open it up. So this one has a neat wax enclosure. So this is more like the traditional way of how they sealed wine before. So the consistency is very similar to Queso de Bola. It does take some work. Um, this Nero Davola is actually very medium, I would say. I would say it's even slightly on the lighter side. But the thing I love about these Italian reds is that a lot of them seem light, like a Nebbiolo or a Barbaresco Barolo. But once you actually taste it, the body is very heavy and it's actually quite deceiving. And I think that's what really becomes very interesting about Italian wines. Ooh. So definitely this wine is interesting because it has a mix of quite light party textures, but it's also heavy. So it's both heavy and light. This is really good. Um, again, third on your list is find wines from Sicily. I haven't seen as much Nero Davolas, honestly, uh, until Landers. And again, this is not a paid advertisement. There was a Landers that opened near our house. So I've been taking advantage of Landers sales and really a different selection from what I'm used to. Again, to summarize that, the first would be Portugal. There's just a lot of unknown wine from Portugal and it's up to you to discover it. Number two across the world would be at Marlboro, New Zealand. You might think that New Zealand and Australia probably have the same wine. Uh, no, I would beg to differ. Marlboro is really one of the more special wine regions that I've fallen in love with as I've gotten to know more and more wine. And lastly, not just any Italian wine, specifically Sicilian wine. Sicilian wine is different. It's not from the more popular and probably bigger producing regions, although Sicily does produce quite a bit of wine as well. So there, I hope this helps you with your gift giving ideas. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy holidays and cheers!